Hello, ladies, gents, and consumers of YouTube slops. Mmm, the Splunky situation is insane. This daily challenge situation is sad. I have grown enormously jaded by YouTube slop, and I decided that every single video will be titled as such. The joke has run its course. I run the joke into the ground, and then I kept going until I found the Earth score where the mole man kicked me out. So I am done <laughs> with that entire naming convention, even though, hilariously enough, people were clickbaited to some degree. <laughs> Got me a bunch of extra views that way, but nothing crazy. It wasn't like uh, it tricked a bajillion people into suddenly clicking this. Well, there goes, there goes Jack and his ability to give me a wet sloppy kiss in the mouth. Let's get out of here. I am still trying to get that million dollar in the, da the daily challenge of Splunky HD, and this is gonna be it. I am a little weird because, surprise, surprise, I got myself a new keyboard. I absolutely adore keyboards. I've gone at length about keyboards. My shift key was not working properly anymore. Gave me the only excuse I ever needed to go out I'm buying myself a new beautiful keyboard. When I say go out, I obviously mean sit on my ass and ordering online. I was hoping for Callie to show up. I don't think she's here. She could be in the bottom, the bottom level though. If I drop you here, will you get spiked? Nah, you'll be just fine. Once again though, we have a level where it's a massive challenge to get ourselves that vault, so probably it's not gonna happen. Let's just drop. We do have the ropes to make it happen. For now, I'm just going to let this let this. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. There you go. Let this progress the way it must. Uh, I'm actually kind of getting trapped here with this this freaking spider. But anyway, the point of me saying the whole thing with the keyboard is that I am, you know, I'm adapting to the new spacebar, the new controls. I really, really like it, which is funky because it is by no means one of those fancy, high-end, super keyboards. Keyboards are one thing that I'm like, oh man, I'm going to get the top of the line number one model. That was the philosophy like two years ago. And did I break it on me anyway? The shift key just would not work anymore properly. I don't think that there's any reason to stick around. I mean, I have the resources. Let's do it. We're gonna do it. I mean, we are a little tight with time, though. A little tight with time. I'm gonna make this happen. I'm gonna make this happen. Check out this second bomb is going to be crucial. Oh, what? <laughs> How you even uh, manage that? That's, that should be illegal. Get blown up, you scum lord. I hate you. I hate you a million times. Yeah. <laughs> Open that vault. Uh, Open up the vault. Give me the treasure. Clearly a wasteful endeavor. Totally worth it, though. All right, let's uh, work around this dumbass ghost. In the worst way possible. We're going to go down here. Get it down there. All right, there you go. Feels good to be manipulating the ghost and the ghost being a total dumbass that does exactly as I want it to do as opposed to this blunky too wild rat that just prances about however he feels like. I resent this blunky too ghost. Actual awful threat instead of something I can manipulate for my personal gain. Don't like it. Anyway, I mean... Probably it was the right choice to make it an, an actual real threat that makes you want to leave the level within three minutes. That being said, kind of you, you lose something. You do lose something, and there is the ability to make money. Either way, I have not uh, finished my keyboard arc. I'm going to make your ears bleed about this keyboard. So anyway, splurged for one of those top of the line 
Logitech keyboards. Maybe that was my mistake. I've been pretty pleased with Logitech stuff. Pretty much all my mouses are Logitech. I really like the super lightweight Logitech mouse. It is my favorite mouse of all time. It is uh, the one I've been using. And uh, it works really, really well. It lasted me a long time. It did break on me eventually after many, many, several years of use. But I wasn't so early that I was like, man, I got scammed by this mouse. No, I was like, yeah, I used it a lot. So I understand why this would break. I think the, the right mouse button, no, the left mouse button stop being reliable you will press it down and then it will let go by itself i want the key obviously kind of annoying to get to this key i guess we can do something like that and then a rope i'm ready to rope ready to rope into oblivion just going to barricade myself in the bedroom and use a rope to achieve nirvana Either that or a very good orgasm. All right, we got this done. Got my chest and key joined together. Together, we will devour the very god. Oh, oh, <laughs> you son of a bitch! I was trying to be fancy. I was trying to be fancy like an idiot. How did everybody do? Clearly not as good well as myself. Look at that, almost. Two million dollars by ARG. Poop store always up there. Kudos to you, poop store. Let's go into the regular adventure mode. See if I can wash this shopkeeper dick out of my mouth. Let's get out of here. Piece of crap. Anyway, got myself $40 keyboard, which is, you know, mid-range. It's not, it's not a cheap keyboard. But $40 is about mid-range for a nice gamer's keyboard. And I couldn't be more pleased. The switches are super quiet. It's a still series uh, Apex 3, I want to say. There is fancier ones, but I was like, I don't, want, I don't want the fancy one. I just want a nice, reliable keyboard. This one has some 7 bajillion reviews. Let's go for it. And, you know, they're all positive. Let's Let's go for it. Uh, really, really pleased so far, and the feel of it is so good. I really enjoy it. So, has my full endorsement, Steel Series Apex 3, as uh, somebody that has been using it for one day. Obviously, my review may change once it breaks apart after I smash that space bar a couple of bajillion times, but hopefully not. I don't have, I don't have a reason to believe that's going to happen. Either way. Here we are in adventure mode again. Don't even want to speed run. I just want to get through the game. Maybe get to hell one time instead of being humiliated terribly by one thing or another preventing me from getting anywhere. All right, we got a excellent winning run. Basically, the entire run is solved. We need to not put any work into it. Easy mode enabled. Sign me up for that hell run that has been avoiding me for the last, what, three, four daily challenges? Looking forward to obliterating Yama's anus. I'm letting him call me daddy. All right. Mm -hmm. The other one that I had, the Logitech one, was $200, buddy. Like I said, I will spare no expense. Wait a minute. I kept the mad talk instead of the shotgun. Am I am I a fool? <laughs> am I some kind of idiot? Why would I take the mad talk instead of a problem solver? Now there's problems. At the bottom of this level. That was terrible. There you go. <laughs> Explode, a bitch! Give me that. Shotgun. Probably the this take care that this man doesn't just randomly rain upon my head and obliterate my ass. Here I am just blindly going up <laughs> like an idiot. Destroy this damn spider. All right, all right, buddy. All right, buddy. You may not 
kill me like the, the daily challenge fool all right all good perfect beautiful might as well bomb my way to this crate I'm, i don't think i can grab it i keep expecting items to bounce into my head and stun me this is plunky 2 only kind of thing the entire physics engine too advanced for Splunky HD. Simpler times, happier times. Let's get out of here. Are we in the jungle yet? Not yet. Mm. There you go. Oh, you know, it was a decent keyboard. But like I said, I expected it to last me forever. And it did not. It didn't. I don't feel I got my money's worth, is what I'm trying to say there. Like, the feel of it wasn't any better than this one. It was like the low profile, I forget the name of it. Uh, low profile mechanical switches. Proprietary, proprietary technology kind of thing. Advertised to be the bee's knees. It was, it was okay. It was okay. It was a good keyboard. I would recommend it for $100, maybe. And with uh, gritted teeth. It's certainly not worth the $200. That's the current asking price. I don't think I pay that much. I don't think it was that expensive back then or something. I don't know. I don't know. Either way, not worth the money. Uh, put a bomb there. Joke's on you, though. What, what you think I'm some kind of wasteful idiot? Uh, tax. I'll, I have two words for you. Tax deductible, bitch. <laughs> I guess those were three words. Tax deductible. Business ex expense. What the hell do you think I use the keyboard for? All of it is business expense. Creating YouTube content? Oh! <laughs> what the? How <laughs> dare you? How can you do this? How you do this? I can't believe you've done this. Please die a million deaths in pain and ignominy. All right, please. Hmm. I don't think I said that word right. No, I need to I need to pause and uh, look up the word. I know the word. I need to make sure that I know the word. I said ignominy is ignominy. That's the way that you, uh, Google pronounces it. And Google is God. So you cannot possibly go against its wishes. Ignominy it is. Weird how some English words have the accent on the very first of seven syllables. Always... Uh, throws me for a loop. There's nothing else to be sacrificed here. Just a shopkeeper body. Uh, always throws me th for a loop. In Spanish, there is only three places your emphasis can go in a word. Last syllable, second to last syllable, third to last syllable. That's it. That is the extent of your options. English has no limit. Ignomini mi la bolubala. And the last one isn't the, 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 the first one. What the hell? Get your shit together, English. Anyway, let's put a bomb here. Oh, that is not where I meant to put the bomb. <laughs> it's a new keyboard. It's not me. It's a new keyboard. Anyway, the whole trend with YouTube's lob. I am of two minds about it. Obviously, people are going to do what people are going to do to get clicks. It, it used to be kind of funny. And now I'm like... Do you really need to put the word situation on every single one of your drama videos? It seems like an inside joke between them, but it has definitely grown stale. But I don't think it's an inside joke. It is just what gets clicks. Because you talk about the X situation, how the latest 50 million YouTuber subscriber count was grooming minors because apparently it is just challenge level 100 impossible to be a celebrity on the internet and not be messaging messaging kids with inappropriate messages it's so weird man take it from me okay i am a youtuber of great renown i get fan mail now and then and I will f sometimes flippantly respond to it because I don't even think about it, right? And then 
there's another response, and it just becomes really, really obvious. Oh, wait a minute. Ooh. Oh, this 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 is a kid. There's a kid on the other side. <laughs> Oops, didn't think about that. That happened like twice. And now I'm like, every single time, it's like, I need to make sure this is not a minor. I'm going to respond in a very appropriate manner just in case. But here's here's a crazy idea, uh, you know, a concept that may blow your mind. Maybe not sell send sexually charged messages to your fans, no matter whether they are minor or not. I mean, it really can't be that challenging, right? What is the deal with this guy? He is avoiding every raining explosion on his head. I hate him. He deserves nothing but the most humiliating death I can possibly cook up. I hate him so much, why am I even fixated with killing him? <laughs> so that a tunnel vision of murder. I tunnel vision on, I, this person must die. And there is just no choice but to do it. And then I realized, you know, hey, you just, just move on with your life. That is something you can do. Um, but anyway, it, it's just bizarre to me. Just Your brain needs to be beyond broken, man. To feel like you're <sighs> typing these things on a text box or an email and somehow you think, this will never come to light. This will never come back to bite me in the ass. Like, you're creating a permanent record. You're pointing a camera at your ass as you twerk for a tutorial for a little girl. What do you think is going to happen? <laughs> it's so weird. Oh, man, it's just... Like, completely brain dead. <laughs> the level of delusion that it takes. To think like, this is fine. <laughs> this is never going to come back to haunt me. Why would it? This kid that I am sexually harassing, 100% uh, trustworthy. There is no reason why they would ever post this. So, <laughs> where are you going? <laughs> it's so comical, man. It's just so funky to think about the mindset of these people that are so horny. And so in need. Yeah, yeah, there was a Gronk somewhere. Of course there was a Gronk. There's plenty of explosives to go around, so let's uh, create our very own Shopkeeper Highway. All the way to hell. Alright, alright, alright. Sweet explosive, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, hold up, though. People where they're so horny, it, it trumps every other, like, every other thought. You know, despicable behavior aside, it's like, what are you doing? How do you not understand that indulging this is going to just ruin your life? That is the thing that, what really gets me. Like, you're not just a pedophile, you're a really stupid pedophile. You, you know that there's a million... A million weirdos out there that, you know, they do a good job hiding it. You never find out. You never find out that they have these interests. They maybe get away with some things, but they know where the limit's at and they never cross that. Because they know that this is like the most heinous crime and their entire lives will be ruined if they indulge their base instinct to do untoward things to underage people. But... There's a subset that, like, you know what? Yeah, let's see if we can get some miners to meet up with me on the internet. Let's uh, create a permanent record of it. Why not? <laughs> it's, like, it's totally worth it. I might get to see some underage ass. <laughs> like, are you kidding? Oh, man, it's just... I've been chuckling and also, you know, being, being fascinated in a horrified way, but the entire mindset of it is so funny. It's Chris Hansen all over again. The entire, uh, take a seat over there kind of thing, but now it's the entire internet that tells these absolute morons to take a seat and line up for the cancellation. One of the actual ones that are 100% warranted. The thing is, will there really be actual consequences, or is it just an internet an internet lynching and then they uh, take their millions and they just live their life out <laughs> nothing bad actually happens to them 
of course, there's always the the argument that hey, this may be evidence enough to convince them, convict them in the court of public opinion, but the court of law will not take it. That may be a case. You know, but I'm pretty sure some of these fellas should make some uh, criminal, uh, face some criminal charges. At them. I don't know, man. It's just strange. It's just strange to see this situation unfold and it just keeps happening. It's so freaking strange for it to just keep happening. It's like they see their peers being caught in 4K doing these things. Like, yeah, but I'll be different though. <laughs> I'll be different. It'll never come out that I did it. <laughs> anyway, anyway, let's uh, leave that spicy topic behind. Here I am. And now I can actually put on the title. Addressing the Ava Tyson situation. And it will actually not be clickbait. Kind of used it up before the ice caves. But it doesn't matter because I'm not ghosting in this damn, damn place. Come over here, Jacqueline. You're going to be rescued. Psych! <laughs> <laughs> ah, let's carry on. She really had her heart so full of hope. The exit was right there, ready to take her. Instead, she's still falling. I thought it was funny. I thought it was funny. I just do it to pixelate people. You'll never be... You'll never see me in a YouTube slop drama video. Like, Ooh, Blargo situation needs to be talked about. Here's the email he sent seven years ago. Joking. Like, lol, you really analyzed me deep and hard. And he sent that to a 16-year-old. He didn't know at the time. He responded flippantly to an email. He deserves death. Anyway, that's not the way usually. Usually it's warranted. All these used to be... All the silliest cancellations for no reason. And on it, I have not been following 100%. Like the latest one that is all the rage. Men are people frothing and salivating about this one. So many clicks being farmed by. Why am I, why am I just going around this ice case level instead of just leaving? I don't know, man. <laughs> just because I'm having a good time. I'm having a good time in Spelunky, okay? I'm just shooting the shit. Talking to you fellas, having a, a podcast opportunity. You know, I see where the exit's at. I see the arrow pointing at it. But I think it's a lot more entertaining. Let's see. It's not entertaining. If I put her here. Oh, come on. Ah, that was too slow. Too slow, and now she just fell to her death. I could have easily blown her up. What a failure. Can't even do this psychopathy right. Frothing out the mouth at the Mr. Beast situation. It is twofold. It started with this entire thing of the super best friend or, or whatever. I don't know if Mr. Beast has actual friends or just collaborators in his his uh, sociopathic machine of charity for views and I that sounds like I have a negative view of the man I really don't it's like the ends justify the means I just wish I don't get it but right I don't get his thumbnail why does he specifically use that smile that just makes him look like a total psychopath I'll never understand, and I guess is the reason because it's a weird smile and people click on it because it makes him look weird? Is that why? I don't know. It'll, it'll always baffle me, like, buddy, you do realize this smile just does not touch your eyes and it makes you look like the weirdest creep <laughs> and yet you are an idol to bajillions of kids. I don't know why I keep using bajillions instead of a real number. You're an idol to actual millions of kids, and yet you smile like you enjoy drowning kittens in your bathtub. It is so strange. <laughs> anyway, that's a total tangent. 
I actually have a very positive view of the man. Like, he seems to get results. His charity work, I would say, uh, is probably without reproach. And people just love to hate on him because it's the, it's the popular thing on the internet. You know, a super popular guy. He must be up to no good. People will attack people at the top non-stop. But you can't really honestly argue without clean ma clown makeup that building wells in Africa for thirsty kids is a terrible thing that you that he did. Uh, I'm supposed to commit suicide. Um, <laughs> I'm I got slightly sidetracked addressing the situation. And then I completely forgot to kill myself. Hopefully Ava won't make the same mistake. <laughs> uh, it's a cool, a cool joke there. To totally joking. <laughs> Sometimes I surprise myself with how smoothly those dark psychopathic jokes come out. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is twofold, right? First is that Ava situation. Oh, baby. And second is that he... I have not followed it closely because I just could not be arsed. He faked some competitions. He uh, basically rigged competitions in his whole endeavor to so that all some people would win or something like that. I, I Like I said, not been following it. But it feels like... Who gives a shit? <laughs> oh no! He faked his! Okay! Uh, and... and uh, it was fr a fraudulent thing. He took a bunch. I don't give a crap. I, I just don't care. And neither do you. Nobody gives our actual crap. It's all internet outrage. And it really does not affect you in any way. It's just another thing to be mad about on the interwebs. As far as I understand it, maybe he did something truly heinous and I'm talking out my ass, so... You know, take it with a grain of salt. Don't, don't like, start a, a lynching mob because I gave the the typical spiel of, like, all the outrage on the internet is all fake. It's the usual image of a girl using 70 exclamation marks and emojis on their text. And then you look at their real-life situation and they're just sitting on the couch, stone-faced, typing with their thumbs on their phone. And you're supposed to take it seriously on the internet being their outrage, like their life is ruined. But in fact, there is just soulless entertainment for the, and they will completely forget about it in the next hour. Uh, feels like that's the entire industry of YouTube drama slop. It's all centered about everybody pretends to give a crap, but they really don't. Because how does it really affect you? In any capacity, it doesn't. Even all these, <laughs> all the hilarious nonsense, all the developments with Boogie, all the stuff that's been happening is like, yeah, he's a massive lol cow, but whatever, man. I just don't give a crap. <laughs> he's just a lol cow on the internet. Who the hell cares? It is funny though, super funny. I, I really missed the old school Jim Medeker takedowns or rather brutal autopsies but he really has been involved because he is personally affected i'm personally angry at uh at the the situation you have no idea what the hell i'm talking about the biggest lol cow on the internet right now i would call boogie 2988 second biggest lol cow on the internet in history only behind Chris Shine. Even what was his name? Dragon something? Dragon Lord? Even Dragon Lord. Less of a lol cow than Boogie 298. He has truly ascended to legendary lol cow status. Here, let me send one of these at ya. Did not work out. How about you eat one of these? Did not work out! <laughs> Please explode. I want to put a... Hey. <laughs> For you. In your mouth. We can now leave. 
you know, need the scepter. He goes, I am, I'm idiot. So we move on with our lives. Uh, but anyway, he, like, it, it's a long story. Like, he truly is, like, his entire history is getting to the, to the heights of freaking Christian. So I'm not going to tell you the whole story. The latest is he faked, basically faked having cancer for sympathy. And he has been absolutely grilled to the point he pretended to have the, all these mental breakdowns. It's all play acting. It's all, all this super pathetic stuff. And it's like, wow, you really do have a humiliation fetish. There is no other explanation for your behavior. It is the weirdest thing. Anyway, the entire point I'm trying to make, I'm old school, I, you know, I wouldn't say grew up, but as an edgy 20 year old, I would enjoy greatly the great internet aristocrat who became Mr. Medicare. Sure, super edgy humor. We'll get you canceled in a heartbeat in 2016 to even express sympathy for Cancer Man. I, I did that on purpose, by the way. I, I was way too bored with this run. I needed to make it a little bit more spicy. Man, I even kept my uh, my plasma cannon. What is this level? It's just so closed up. It was weirding me out. Anyway, really missed having that guy around. I was genuinely sad when he did his uh, farewell stream. Basically saying, I am going to die now. <laughs> but he has managed to stay kicking around, baby. And his uh, hatred of all things stupid on the internet keeps him alive. It's been really entertaining to listen to him laughing again at all the stupid nonsense. What am I even doing? Why am I messing around Olmec? Am I perhaps a buffoon? I'm not even gonna try to make this entertaining, okay? We're just going to grab Olmec, throw him down there. I am so used to this, Blunky, to Olmec, how super long. Of course that would happen, of course it did. <laughs> How long the travel of Olmec is in Spelunky 2? It's alright, we're just going to get him out of there. It's not a big deal. Clearly not about to die. Clearly not about to die. Oh, good. That is not good. What the hell, brother? <laughs> That'll do it, okay? Please, will these explosions actually land where I want them to land? There you go. Huh? Do I maybe perhaps have a mental deficiency? Is that what's going on? <laughs> I really have a mental problem. Let me get rid of this damn thing. Beautiful, beautiful ending. <laughs> Only my brand of stupidity could achieve something so extremely incompetent. Anyway, I don't even know what kind of point I was trying to make. See you in the next one.